from Lincoln State Park here west of Santa Claus, Indiana. It is a little chilly this morning with a light drizzle in the air. We've got a big day planned for ourselves today, but before we left, we thought, now oh, let's just show you this campground a minute. We had a good night here. We um, actually just really, like the other night, we didn't set up very much, so, uh, because it was raining. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, hey, let's take a walk around. As you can see, we uh, positioned our camper right near the shower house last night because we want to take some showers. Um, the neat thing about this park is they got a lake down here, so uh, we're going to take you down here and show you the lake. Uh, you can get you a campsite nestled right on the lake if you want to. One of the unique things about this park, and I'm not sure if there's many like this, that there is a state park and just across the road is a national monument, both to Lincoln. And um, yeah, so we're gonna check them both out today and see what you think. There's also, I said that there was paddle boat rentals here. There's also kayaks, a John, some John boats, but also look, there's a big duck paddle boat that you can rent. We're on our way now to the park store. I'll let you know what it's like. So this makes no sense. You got a camp store that doesn't open until 4.30 in the afternoon. I never heard of such a thing. Well, Nancy is so disappointed. We can't get our sticker. She wanted to go in there and get a sticker. <laughs> so, um, hey, what we've realized is we can cut across this parking lot here and there's a little trail over here that dumps us off right at our campsite and um, so we're gonna go back there and get things ready to go we um, are running the risk of rain at any minute so I like to go back and get that camper hooked up before it starts raining it's a downpour. <laughs> I've done that before that's oh, for yeah. sure Many times. Uh, I remember one time we were camping and it rained so bad Cedar Lake at Cedar Lake that we decided it's like okay you just go sit in the car and I'm just gonna bite the bullet. Take one for the team. And take all this stuff down. So I spent like 45 minutes in a torrential downpour. I mean, it was raining cats and dogs. Yeah. We, um, Nancy got my clothes all out inside the car and got them all, they were dry and everything. So as soon as I was done packing well, he up. he had clothes on, he wasn't naked. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> as, soon as, I, as soon as I got done, I went right to the shower house took a, sh a nice hot shower put on dry clothes got in the car and drove off so yep who that was a good plan but man i will never forget taking down in that rain like that yeah so let's All not right. do that again if we can yeah we don't want to do that so we're going to take this little trail and uh, get ourselves back to our campsite like in harmony state park they are getting ready for halloween here also and this weekend is the big time coming and there are so many sites decorated we're going to let you see some of them Not only does this guy have an awesome trailer, he's got this awesome setup too for Halloween. Take a look at this. Hey, here's another group that has really gone way out on this, uh, on this campsite. I bet they spent hours decorating this thing. Um, if we were here tonight, we'd run up here, but we're leaving. But take a look at this one. Still on the grounds of the Lincoln Park here is um, 
the Little Pigeon Primitive Baptist Church. Um, it sits here on these grounds and it's significant because uh, it says here that Abe Lincoln was the church sexton, which meant that he kind of was the, um, it was a volunteer position where he took care of the grounds and the maintenance of the building and that. So uh, as a young man, uh, Lincoln walked right on these grounds here. I think it's interesting. His sister uh, was a prominent member of the pioneer settlement that was in this area. And uh, her grave is actually here at the cemetery. We're gonna walk down there and take so a look. So just uh, almost right in the middle of the cemetery is the grave of Sarah Lincoln. Now this was, uh, like I said before, this was Abe Lincoln's sister. And uh, he was married to Aaron uh, Gigsby. So um, she lived from uh, 1807 to 1828. So, um, interesting thing here uh if you uh take a look at this grave you know the the custom of leaving a penny on a grave so you know somebody has visited a grave people have chosen a unique place to place their pennies here in this grave it's uh interesting that right next to sarah lincoln's grave is some civil war graves so uh, these are settlers that were in the area that actually died in the Civil War. Um, so uh, here there just says on the Indiana Division of the Calvary. So uh, the dates are not legible on this. So I would give you some dates, but you can tell these are Civil War graves. So there, there's some pretty old tombstones here in this area. We found another gem. This is Lincoln Bicentennial Plaza. And we're going to go check it out because we have no idea. It's the, se the setting is it's right in the middle of the woods off the road. There's a small parking lot here, but there's some pretty nice looking monuments up here. We're going to walk in there and see. This monument is unique in the fact that it is a semicircle and it shows, this is age seven, how tall he was at the different ages. So starts here at seven. So at 10, He's my height. So anyway, it just keeps going. And from the age of seven to 21, he lived in this area. So it just shows how tall he is until you get over here and he's 21. He was six foot four, we were told. That's without that hat he had. So anyway, but just when you think this is enough of a monument wait there's more come around this corner this is very well done we've been to washington dc and this is something you would see there good job indiana another thing that you uh, don't see much here at state parks is uh, this park in lincoln state park they have an amphitheater here nancy and i realized that we actually about 25 years ago we actually came here and seen a play based on the life of lincoln <laughs> we didn't realize it was this park we, we came with some friends and uh, a whole group of people and weren't really paying much attention where they took us but uh, it was actually at this park about 25 years ago hey look up here i was looking at this thing and um, this summer they had uh, so the 2021 performance uh, series they had uh, all my rowdy friends a tribute to hank williams uh, captain fantastic the tribute to elton john they had a ccr uh, tribute and uh, a tom petty tribute so they had a motley crew tribute band and a tribute band to the Beatles so they have a lot of tribute bands here I'm gonna put this on the list and watch for next year because I got a feeling this would be kind of fun to come to a um, to come to a play or to one of these concerts so I mean we're within walking distance of the campground and I'm gonna walk in here to the amphitheater you can see it's it's pretty neat so how about this I uh, think this uh, you know next summer I got to put on a list to come to a concert here or something uh, I remember the play that we've seen here it was uh, very well done so if you're looking for a state park where you can take in some culture um, come here to this one 
Okay, I don't know if Motley Crue can be considered culture, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, if you're a Motley Crue fan, you could come here and um, take a look. I'd certainly come to that concert. Okay, I couldn't resist this. This is my chance to perform on stage in front of an unpacked house at Lincoln State Park. I mean, what other chance am I gonna get to stand on stage and perform? So, I don't know, what should I sing? Um, you know, I'm pretty good at bluegrass songs, but hey, I'm not gonna sing any, but anyway. yodel Maybe I should yodel. Who knows? <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> this is what happens when I am left unsupervised. Nancy is back at the van uh, making something to eat. So anyway, yeah, don't tell her that I ran in here and performed on stage. So uh, let's get up here and hike back uh, before I get in any more trouble here. We crossed the street and now we are at Lincoln National Monument and I love this sign because if you see it has a silhouette of him later in life and That's... his boy silhouette anyway but right across the street we wanted to show you is the state park we spent the night in last night mm -hmm. and then now right across the street is the National Monument you get a two for a two for one at this park right so let's go ahead and take a look at it So we just went through the museum. It's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to see who Abraham Lincoln got his looks from. His mother. Looks a lot like his mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, she's very tall and thin and she has his face. <laughs> they were just saying, um, the one of the rangers there is just kind of giving an interpretive speech here and just saying that this is a memorial and to Abraham Lincoln's Specifically, we talk about his childhood and his mm -hmm. formative years here. And uh, one of the things she said that stood out to me was that you're standing on the ground that Abraham Lincoln walked on, and you're breathing the fresh, clean air that Abraham Lincoln breathed. Hmm. Uh, very cool thing to think about, um, just standing right where Abe Lincoln was at. So we're going to walk up here and look at some other stuff at the park. It's a pretty small park, but yeah. um, it's definitely spend an hour here looking at different things. Nancy Hawkins Lincoln Grave. She was 35 years old when she passed away from milk disease? Milk poisoning or poisoning. something. I, I don't know what that means. But I don't either. Apparently it was uh, a common disease uh, amongst pioneers. And she was nursing other pioneers with it and got it herself. So this is a pioneer cemetery. It's uh, kind of interesting that, you know, the mother of a great president is just buried basically in a common uh, grave here. In the middle of the woods. In the middle of the woods. Yeah. So just beyond the grave, we're walking down the hill here. Uh, they say the path's about a half mile hike down here to the Lincoln Farm. We're gonna go down here because uh, from what I've read is there's a foundation uh, from the house that uh, Abraham Lincoln lived at when he was a boy. And part so, of the fireplace, I think. Yeah, so we don't, we've never been down here before. We don't know what to expect, but um, uh, it's worth a half mile walk down here. And we had to stop here a second because we are right next to the Lincoln farm and Look at here, there is a railroad that runs through it. This is a part of the Hoosier Southern 
railroad. It's a private railroad in Indiana that kind of crosses the state. You can tell that the tracks aren't used much, but they're still in working order. Can we use? I spy something here as I'm talking, though. I want to run over here. This is strange that there's a log in this tree over here. I got to show you. Yeah, look at that. I had to walk down here. I just caught that caught my eye. Ah, the slightest things amuse me. Look at it. Okay, we made it down here. To this is uh, actually Lincoln's cabin, the foundation. Right. This is where it stood, but this is. So what they done was they dug up. Uh, the footing's still here, and there were some logs that were here in 1933 when they found when it. they found this. Mm -hmm. So what they did to preserve them is they cast it in bronze. So the logs and the fireplace are bronze castings of what they originally found. So that way they could uh, preserve that. But pretty cool and pretty small. What do you think? Very small to raise two kids in. Wow. Yep. Yep. Pretty pretty cool they've got uh, some other areas here some That's I guess in the because... summertime they do some interpretive uh, work here and show yeah. what the farm would have been like uh, we're obviously farm. we're in the fall so we see uh, some tobacco over here hanging to mm -hmm, dry mm -hmm. so pretty anyway, interesting nice area and it was uh, definitely work the walk down here when you think that um, <clears throat> excuse me Lincoln stood right here yeah In the area here they've got some reproduction cabins that were made that you know kind of sh depict what uh, pioneer life would be in this area um, I think we've made the decision we're going to go ahead and start to walk back out of here because it might rain at any minute and we don't want to get soaking wet so anyway how's that plan sound hun yeah that's a good plan I don't want to get wet Alrighty, so here we go. We're going to take the hike on out of here. Hope you enjoyed our time here at Lincoln Par State Park. And Lincoln National Monument. We had a good time trompsing around the woods and looking at all this stuff. And the uh, rain held off. What an exciting thing to find this in your neck of the woods. Ha actually have this in our state is pretty cool. Yeah. And we got to enjoy the fall colors. Hey, we appreciate everybody who watches our videos every week. And... Um, likes subscribes and leaves us comments we really appreciate that so what do you think herky he wants to go on a walk so another one <laughs> Don't for now we're gonna get back on the road thanks for watching